For a while now, the most effective way to stream PC VR games on Oculus Quest and Quest 2 was by buying virtual desktop app and installing app patch from SideQuest. This patch has been a lifesaver for many of us who really didn't want to stay connected with a cable using Oculus Link because it significantly reduced the freedom of movement. But setting up SideQuest for many people can be quite a tedious task because you would need to download it on your PC, then you would need to go through the steps of creating organization, and still connecting your quest using the cable. So basically, it just creates a set of extra steps that will make this process a whole lot longer. But now, the big news is that the Virtual Desktop app has received its official update that allows you to stream PC VR games without the need to patch it from SideQuest. It means that the version that you will get on the official Oculus Store will be enough for you to start streaming. And that's really amazing because it completely eliminates the need for you to jump through the hoops of setting up SideQuest. So let me show you how easy it is now to play PC VR games on your Quest using the virtual desktop. As I've mentioned, you will still need to buy a virtual desktop app, which costs around $20. I have already bought mine, so I had an option to update it. But I wanted to make sure that there is no SideQuest patch left in my Quest, so I just completely uninstalled my virtual desktop, and now I will install it again. As you can see, even here in the app description, it now says that you can stream games. Now, if you run this app, you will see that the streaming won't start without the app called Streamer App, which you need to install on your PC, not on your VR set. You can download it from the official virtual desktop app that I have linked in the description, and uh, there are versions available for both Windows and Mac. So simply download the one that works for you, install it, and then just put your Oculus username here and click Save. Make sure that you don't close this window and while it runs on your PC, put on your Quest and start Virtual Desktop. Launching your games from here will improve compatibility. With this new update, there is actually some voice telling you that this app can now stream PC VR games. And when you click on this tab, it actually looks exactly like the one you saw when you used the patch from SideQuest. And you will see both Oculus and Steam games all in one place, and now it's available right off the shelf. That's right, now you can play PC VR games directly from your Quest 2 without any patches and cables. Please remember that to play PC VR games, you will still need a compatible PC. And I have recently upgraded my PC myself for this reason. I've made a detailed video documenting this process, so if you want to build a PC VR-friendly computer without spending a fortune, please watch my video linked in the description. In that video, you will also find the tool that will help you test if your PC is compatible with PC VR games, so definitely check it out. The most important thing you need to play PC VR games besides your VR headset is the appropriate graphics card. There's actually a list of graphics cards tested by Oculus on their website. Also, please remember that PC VR games that you will download will be stored on your computer and not on your Quest, so it is a good idea to buy an extra hard drive. I recently bought this M2 slot hard drive from Hynix with 1TB space, and it's been serving me really well. Again, check out that video where I talk about my computer specs. Lastly, you will need a strong internet connection, specifically a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection. It is strongly recommended that your computer is connected directly to your Wi-Fi with an Ethernet cable to strengthen this connection. My internet is pretty fast, but without the Ethernet cable, the performance on Quest was still quite laggy, so I would definitely recommend using an Ethernet cable. And that's it! You are now free to explore what PC VR games have to offer without the need to install SideQuest. Do you think that this is the beginning of the end of SideQuest? With App Labs being introduced and uh, now one of the most used patches from SideQuest being replaced in the recent update, do you think SideQuest will soon cease to exist? Let me know in the comments, I really want to know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more informative and fun VR content and support me on Patreon for exclusive perks. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe and as always, happy gaming!